Good morning, Lighthouse family and friends. Today is... Day seven. Day seven. So, uh, we have made it through the week. Today is the last day of our church fast. Um, I'm going to say from the beginning, please... Uh, make sure you watch the ending of this video because we're going to be talking about uh, breaking the fast together and, and what that looks like and how we're going to do that and when we're going to do that. So don't uh, don't miss that because that's important. So that's going to be at the end of the video. Um, but to start off the video, what, what's today's prayer point? Today's prayer point is Jesus grant us faith. Is that important? Very important. Essential. <laughs> Jesus grant us faith, grant us faith. And so we, uh, we have a couple verses that we want to talk about and we want to read with you. Um, the first verse is found in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Um, can you read that sure. for us? And it reads, but without faith, it is impossible to please God for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Mm. You want to you want you want you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Like, what does that mean? Well, you you started off by asking if faith is important. Obviously, it is because we can't even please God without it. And a mm. lot of us aim to please God, right? And so this is actually found in what uh, is usually called the chapter of the faith, the mm -hmm. hall of faith. Mm -hmm. You have the hall of fame, and you have the hall of faith. But God is not interested in your fame; He's interested in your faith. And so when we read this verse in context, the uh, scriptures that are above the verse and below the verse, it's literally listing some of these patriarchs that went before us mm. that we read about in the scriptures, that how they were tested and how by faith they overcame. And it's interesting that lots of them, if not all of them, didn't even get to see the promises that God gave them Ooh. on this side of heaven, mm. because we are not to live, we're just, a, we're just pilgrims. Right, so when we live going by what we see on this earth and in the natural, we're not pleasing God, okay. and so it is impossible to please God. And it also says that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Wow. So God rewards you, and diligent means mm. you keep going, you're non stop, you are taking initiative. It's a two way relationship, you're not just waiting on Him, you're not just asking Him for help, you're also going to Him. You can say, You can say, Help and hide. Yeah. You're seeking him and his will. And these folks, if you see, you know, Noah, Moses, Sarah, uh, Enoch, Abel, <laughs> um, you know, they didn't have happy endings. You know, it wasn't all peaches and cream. Uh, when you come and you uh, walk this walk of faith, mm -hmm. trouble doesn't stop, but there's a shift. You no longer live by what you see, but what by he says. That's and right. You obey and trust him. That's right. You said that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Sincerely and diligently. Sincere. You can't fool him. You can fool us and your and others, but not him. Do, do you think that there are many of us throughout the week that have been sincerely seeking him? I'm sure. And what do you think has been the, I want to say the the results of that or, or the side effects of of so many people diligently seeking him. What do you think is the side effects? Very rewarding because rewards don't always come with like like things he gives mm -hmm. us or things he does for us. There have been so many testimonies of in, in and out of realm. Yeah, um, yeah. That what God has done, mm -hmm. some of it is outwardly, but some of it has also been internally. Yeah. Uh, people with doubt, people with fear, you know, have um, experienced the hand of God. And it's so rewarding to see God move in our lives and through mm -hmm. us. You know, I believe that in, in addition to all that we've already seen on Realm and through text messages and through the videos and the conversations, um, I see the Lord sparking and igniting that a ember. fire, right? Yeah, a ember. fire within so many of us at Lighthouse. And, and you know what? That full flaming fire is a reward of seeking him, you know, um, diligently, uh, yes. sincerely, right? Sincerely. And so uh, that's encouraging. It is. That's exciting. Yes. That's motivating. It's freeing because when you go before God sincerely, you don't have the pressure of performance. Mm. When you're performing and trying to be like, you know, Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. that's when the pressure sets in because you're becoming someone you're not. But when you're before God and you could get naked before him, he already knows everything. That's so freeing. And then for him to then reward you for it. 
Yeah. It's like... Yeah. You it's, don't do it for the reward, it just comes with it. It's it's like a side effect. It's a side, it's effect. A side effect of it, you know? Um, amen. Amen. Uh, let, let's, let's read another verse. Mm. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not seek. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he will show you which path to take. Mm. We have heard this verse probably, I want to say, a million times. Right. Those that have been uh, walking this walk for some time. Um, and yet, and yet, we still sometimes don't live by it. Because we have to yield to his will. So we ask God to lead us. God, lead me, lead me, lead me. Many times that is mm -hmm. a petition. But we've already made the decision in our hearts of where we want to go. That's our own understanding mm -hmm. based on what we see. But these folks, again, they yielded to God. Even Jesus yeah. in the garden. Jesus at one point says, I don't want this, but not my will, your will. And that is what? Having faith. Faith. Living by faith. Right. Having faith, walking living by spirit. faith, walking in the spirit, which we've been talking about and in that Bible study. That. You know, um, so when we say trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not depend on your understanding. The problem with our generations today, the problem with society today is that we're so logical. Yes. We're so factual. We're so you know, physical as well. Like, I we got to see, see with it. our carnal eyes. If I see it, I believe it. Right. If I can read it, then it makes sense. Right. If Google says it's right, then it's right. right. You know, um, and so what happens is we are living lives that everything has to have an answer. Right. Everything has to have and make sense to us. It has to have a logical. So, so when uh, does thing. God get the glory? When is that living by faith? When is he going to be pleased? Mm, when is he going to reward us if we're seeking him? We're not seeking him because we're just doing everything on our own strength. Mm. And what happens is, it says, do not depend on your own understanding. What happens is when we depend on our own understanding, we're saying that we know more than God. Because we're going to make our decisions. And because we don't trust his decisions. Yes. Because they don't make sense to us. They don't need to. These folks that I listed, they mm. never even saw mm. the outcome of what he promised them. Mm. Abraham never got to see his descendants. Abel got killed by his brother. Yet Abel is listed yeah. as one of those patriarchs that live by faith. Yeah. Uh, seek his will in all you do. Again, again, here, here, we, here, we, here we read about seeking. Um, and then he will show you the path to take. And I'm gonna tell you it through again, with what we've heard through testimonies, videos, as so many of you have been seeking his will, God has been more clearer, clearer. than ever in your lives. Some yes. of you guys are like, I can't believe it. Some We're seeing through the spirit. I heard, I heard some people say, like, I heard actual voice tell me this. Like these are testimonies that we are hearing and some of you guys are missing out and I'm sorry, but um, you know, it's, it's not my fault and not everybody wants to shout their testimony from the rooftop so we don't get to hear all of them. But people have been saying that they've actually heard actual words telling them what to do. Um, they are hearing clearer. They are seeing God's direction in their lives clearer. And this is what it's, I mean, the word tells us, seek his will in all that you do and he will show you which path to take. And this is also happening because as we kill the flesh, mm -hmm. which is not necessarily the actual body, the flesh is the sinful nature, our desires. As we do that, we're eliminating anything that stands in the way between us and God. Mm -hmm. And so it's not that God is growing or that, you know, that we're growing spiritually. God has always been God. He's always been there. His truth has always been mm. in us. It's just that now we have more clarity yeah. spiritually and ears to hear. And please do not be discouraged if you have not audibly heard the voice of God. Oh, he yeah. doesn't always manifest himself in the same way for everyone. Correct. We're individuals. We're fingerprints to him. And he knows how he's going to reveal himself to us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. You're welcome. Why didn't introduce you in the beginning of the video? That's not right. They should know. But yes, you should. This is my lovely wife. I am his lovely wife. His good thing. My very good thing. Very good thing. My very good thing. <laughs> um, and it's, I'm, I'm, I, I love when she's by my side and we do a video. First of all, I hate doing videos. And he knows I do too. But when she's with me, it's so much better. Mm. They, they actually watch the videos when you're with me. They don't watch it. When... <laughs> I think they watch when is anybody else. <laughs> Uh, what are some prayer points for today? The prayer points for today is that we pray that God will grant us bold and courageous faith. Yes. Lord, give us faith to trust in you with all our heart. Give us yes. faith yes. Uh, to believe that the impossible is not impossible with you. Right. You know, give us faith 
um, you know, and, and boldness and, cur and, cur and courageous uh, spirit uh, for the future of Lighthouse Family Center. You know, um, pray that any discouragement would be overcome with hope. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what it may seem like right now, we have faith that the Lord that we serve will overcome those circumstances, right? Because we do not live by mm -hmm. sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Go ahead. So no matter what you see, you have to believe what he said. Or else we're going to be living, we're going to be going wherever the wind blows. That's right. That's right. Double-minded. Mm, that's a whole nother subject right there. But pray that we will receive the plans that he has for us and take willing next steps. You know, that takes faith. When God says, hey, I want you to go here. I want you to do this. I want you to say this. Then it takes faith as your next step yeah. to actually do what God has called you to do. Yes. And so many times, again, it won't make sense. Many times, like, 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 for example, Moses, how you want me to lead a people if I can't speak? Not only that, sometimes we say it to folks and mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to them and their voices mm -hmm. overpower God. Yes. And then you have the naysayers and the doubters. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden there's a seed of doubt planted in you. No matter what they say around you, no matter if they say, hey, that doesn't make sense. How about we hold off on that? Mm -hmm. If God said it, then we need to try. We need to surround ourselves with people that are going to encourage us to move in the direction that yes. the Lord is telling us. Yes. Always. Yes. Always. Always. We need to pray. Uh, one of our prayer points is that we pray that we will act in faith toward any personal direction the Lord has guided us. That's what we're just talking about right now, right. individually or as a church That's family, right. you know, um, over the period of this fast. And just in case you guys know, th these prayer points, these this fasting guy will be using it throughout the entire year. Um, I know many churches have like a, a verse for the year or a theme for the year. You know, um, these prayer points are pretty much going to be a guide of prayer for us as a church for the whole year. And so we'll be using this as we continue to fast throughout the, the year. When I'm excited. I mean, yeah, because so, we're going to be checking some off. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to, you guys will see the answer <laughs> to many of these ongoing prayers. Some are ongoing because some are ongoing because mm -hmm. we need this over and over in our lives. But some of them are direct petitions for things to take place. The last prayer point is pray and rebuke any feeling of unbelief. Oh, okay. And many of you guys know, um, <laughs> you kind of, some people have told me they've gotten into a rut where, sorry, that noise is our bearded dragon. Okay. All right. Um, so, Not Abigail, our bearded dragon. I know, you're making a bunch of noise over here. Um, so I was saying that uh, some of us struggle with unbelief and we feel like we've gotten into a rut. Like, hey, you don't know, when I first started work serving the Lord, I, I, I was excited. I was, I was, I was uh, uh, on fire. I was trusting everything. And I don't know, I went to this rut where I just don't feel connected. Right. I don't feel <clears throat> like I used to feel. I, 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 you know, I, I feel like maybe, you know, I, I know there's a God, but right, I don't really believe right. on some of the things that I've been told because I haven't seen it or I haven't experienced right. it. And so we have to pray um, and rebuke right, those feelings right. of unbelief. And, and I'll reiterate, when Jesus, when the disciples could not cast out that, that demon from the boy and they asked Jesus, why couldn't we? The first thing Jesus said mm. was, oh, ye of little faith. faith, because of your unbelief. Mm. They couldn't do what they had been doing already because of their small faith. And that could happen to any one of us. We need to stay connected to the word of God so that our faith may continuously if, grow. If we're going to be walking in the fire and in the power of the Holy Spirit on a daily basis, if we're going to be walking in the spirit, then we need to have a walk of faith. Yes. We need to trust the Lord. Yes. Beyond our own understanding. Beyond. We, need, we, need to, we need to understand that what is impossible for man is not impossible for God. Yes. No matter what, have, no matter what science or logic may say. We serve a God that is supernatural right. and above those things. Yes. So, but God. Oh, thank God. But God. <laughs> Amen. All right, uh, church family, this has been a great journey. I'm excited because this is not a one time thing. You see, no, you see, it's I'm excited. I'm, ex I'm excited because we're going to be doing this three more times as a church. Now, mm -hmm. if you want to do this fasting On individually, own, privately, super yes. encouraged to yes. do that. Yes. Um, but we're going to be doing a uh, this 
weekly church fasts three more times throughout the year. Uh, we are expecting and believing uh, the hand and the power of God to move in such a powerful way in our church. And so uh, and most importantly, with, most importantly, within each and every one of us, because yeah. that's key right there is not so much what he'll do that we can see, but what's going on inside of us. Mm -hmm. Is there a shift inside of us as individuals? Yeah. Does he have your soul? Amen. Amen. So day seven, that's today. Today is our last day of fasting. And I know some people have questions like, well, when do we actually start eating? Do we eat tomorrow morning? Do we eat late tonight? And so um, to bring some clarification to that, I wanted to suggest. Now, if you feel led to continue to tomorrow, then by all means, you can do that. Um, I believe that as, as, a, as a unit, as a whole, we should break the fast after sunset today mm -hmm. um, for several reasons. You know, um, one, to, to actually give a, a time so that we can kind of do this collectively. And um, second, uh, many people uh, after fasting for a week respond differently mm -hmm. when they eat, you know. And so just know that when you digest, the, you're going to digest the food a lot quicker. Um, because, you know, maybe some of us don't have any food in our, in our system. And so what that means, you got to use the bathroom a lot quicker. <laughs> and if everybody has breakfast and then goes to church, we may have like a line to the bathroom. So um, let's just, uh, to be wise a little bit, you know, and to see how everybody kind of like uh, adjusts back to eating. Uh, let's, uh, after sunset today, uh, you got, we can break the fast as a whole. Um, that way tomorrow when you come to church, you kind of already had some food in your system and uh, you're not experimenting with what might happen when you put food in the morning and then go to church. Um, and so uh, if there's any questions about that, you can, you know, just send a message into in Realm in there and we can make sure there's any clarifications. But today, Saturday, the seventh day after sunset, our fast is coming to an end. And I just want to say, as your pastor, that I am so proud of our church family. Like, I um, didn't know what to expect going into this. I know that I heard so many people so scared, so worried, saying, nah, that's not going to make me pastor. I can't mm -hmm. go even one day without food. And there have been so many stories and people have told, I've spoken with so many that have done this and are amazed. Yes. Are, are, are are uh, amazed by how God sustained, sustained them. That's the sustainer, El Shaddai. Mm. El Shaddai. Mm. God sustains us, the Almighty. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Testimonies. We're going to hear some testimonies tomorrow. Amen. Um, I know we were going to have baptisms tomorrow, but we are going to push that for a couple weeks. So if you're on that list, um, I apologize. Uh, but we will talk personally tomorrow so that we can make sure we get on the same page. Baptism will be pushed back a couple weeks. Tomorrow we're going to have testimonies and you will hear from individuals that you haven't heard in the videos. So you saw some videos, but you haven't seen some others and they're going to be testifying in person tomorrow. Amen. So exciting. All right, guys, God bless you. Have a blessed day. You know, don't eat too much tonight, please. If you have been fasting all week, Let's make it do a healthy not lifestyle. do not have a steak tonight. Let's stay healthy. Do not have a steak tonight. <laughs> uh, have something that is uh, right. digestible very easily. Mm -hmm. You know, um, uh, you can experience some strong pains and uh, some complications if you eat very hard. You know, food that's hard to digest, especially since your digestive system hasn't been really working throughout the week. He's been on vacation. So, uh, all right, guys. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.